do all things and bring them again unto himself. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty, mighty God we serve. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We are here today to celebrate life. Amen. Here to celebrate. Amen. This wonderful servant of the Lord and this wonderful, amen, son and, and grandson and daddy and granddaddy and nephew and brother, amen. Thank God uh, for this life of Mr. William W. Jones Jr., better known as brother, BJ, home, amen, little home, amen. Come on, let's put our hands together and celebrate. Come on, we can do better than that. Thank God for this life that the Lord loaned us for 60 years. What a mighty God we serve. Come on, let's celebrate it. Let's celebrate it. Amen. Thank God for what he has done and what he continues to do. Uh, I want this family to know and these that have gathered to know that earth has no sorrow, that heaven cannot heal. Amen. One thing about this, God already knew this day would come before the foundations of the world. Amen. It was a surprise to us, but not a surprise to God. Amen. And he does everything well, and we want to thank God today for this life, and certainly thank God for this family. Amen. As we continue to pray your strength in the Lord. Amen. And this time, Deacon Gibbons is going to lead us Amen. And a musical selection. And then we'll have our Old and New Testament reading and our prayer of comfort from Reverend Joan Freeman. Amen.
seeking your comfort and your peace that you have promised, Lord. Father, I just pray right now that you will extend all of your goodness and your grace and your mercy, Lord, unto this family. Heal and mend the broken hearts, Lord, day by day, as you and only you can do, Lord. Continue to bless them, Father, with good memories and all of the wonderful blessings that they have had, Lord. Father, continue to give them the comfort and, comfort and peace that surpasses all understanding, Lord. That they will grow closer to you, they will know you more, that they will hold you more dearly, Father. And that one day, Lord, when all is said and done in this old world, they will find a place with you, Lord, where there will be no more separation. There will be no more loss, no more grief, no more weeping, and no more crying, Lord. Nothing but glory in your majesty all the day long, Lord. And then we will know fully, Lord, that you are a good God, that you bless even in the times of trouble. Wrap them in your loving arms right now, Father, and give them all of the love and comfort and peace that they need, not just today, but in all the days to come. Father, this is my prayer, this is my plea. In the mighty name of Jesus, I count it done. Amen, amen, and amen. To God be the glory, to God be the glory. Amen, amen.
you can pray. Thank God. Amen. We certainly uh, are saddened today, but we're also excited uh, because we know that the Word of God is clear when it says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And so we're celebrating with Brother BJ, Brother Bra, Amen, Lil Home, whatever you call them. We thank God for him. I, I tell you, he, or every time I saw him, I'm sure he had some other days, but every time I saw him, all I saw was gold. Amen. I wish I had a witness. Amen. He always had a smile on his face. Always had a smile on his face. And so I, I, he was always an encouragement to me, no matter what he was going through. Amen. He still had a reason to smile. Amen. And that's, that's really the way we ought to approach life and approach situations. We ought to approach it with the power that God has given us to smile through every circumstance. Amen. Let me just tell you now, what the world needs now is more love. That was a sign that he had the love of God inside of him. Amen. Amen. Let's start right now. Do me a favor and look at the person next to you and tell them, I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. That was the wrong person. Look at the other person on the other side. Say, I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Now, I'm standing up here and I'm looking out. And some of y'all didn't say nothing to nobody. You know why that is? You ain't want to lie in church. Come on now. Amen. If that's your story, just hit your neighbor and say, you all right, you all right. I'm glad you're here. Amen. Thank God. Amen. At this time, we're going to have our acknowledgments and expressions of love. Our first from the J.M. Wilkerson Funeral Establishment Incorporated. Amen. And then uh, from family and friends. I'm sure this family have chosen two to three people that will speak uh, on behalf of the family. And then one friend. Uh, that will come and then I read pretty good the program says please limit to two minutes amen God bless you. Well, let's give God another hand clap of praise giving us the opportunity to celebrate the life of William Jones Jr. It's with sincere gratitude to this family having to thank Pastor Harley, Pupi, uh, uh, guests, and all of you for any act of kindness you've shown them on the passing of your loved one. The family has received several letters and cards, but they have chosen to share just one of each with you at this time. Praying for you. God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. May God give you strength when yours is gone. May his grace and mercy carry you on. May the unending love that he has for you revive your heart and see you through. Love, Maxine Wilson and family. St. John Baptist Church, no matter what your trials are, how big your mountains seem, the Lord is there to see you through. He'll go to all the extreme. So if you cross him, it seems hard to bear, and you know not what to do, the one who loved you most of all will be there to see you through. To the family of William Jones Jr., trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto their own understanding. This, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. We the members of the St. John Baptist Churches express our condolences to you on the loss of one so dear, Brother William Jones Jr. Know that death is not an end, but a transition to a place free of pain and suffering. The Word of God reminds us that 2 Timothy 4, 7, 8, I have fought a good fight, finished the course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all of them who, that also love and appearing. Family, we know your loss is deep, and your sorrow is great, but
But we want you to know that we share in your sorrow. But more importantly, we recognize this loss is heaven's gain. We are praying that God will give you the strength you will need to make it through the difficult days ahead. We would like to invite you to remember, in case there are times when you just need some cheer, in case there's a problem you would just like us to hear, in case there's a favor you would like us to do, we are here if you need us to help see you through. With deep sympathy, Pastor Reverend Herbert Holland, St. John Baptist Church, Stone Creek, Virginia. And to his family on behalf of the management staff for the Jim Wilkinson Feeling Staff. Just want to let you know it's our sincere hope and it's our prayer that in spite of all that you're going through, that God will continue to give you the eyes to see the very best, the heart to forgive the bad, the worst, the mind to forget the bad, but most important, a soul that will never ever lose his faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. May God bless you. Amen. There are two family members that would like to come. Come on, sir. Hey, good evening, everyone. I'm DJ Youngest Son of Munch. It would take a lifetime if I was to sit here and reflect on the memories I have of my father. So I'm just going to say a little something I had put together for him. There's going to come a time in life when we all will have to pay the ultimate price. There will be tears, there will be sorrow, but as you and I know, there's always going to be a tomorrow. So I'm going to ask my family and friends to not be upset, just prepare for the many blessings that's to come next. And I'm going to continue to stand tall and keep my head to the sky, because my father never left me. He's just will be watching me from the sky. Yeah. <laughs> My, I'm sitting up front and my back turned. I couldn't see all the love, but man, my daddy, he was love. And I wish love alone could have saved him because you know, he got a lot of support. But I have the honor of being the baby girl. And I was always proud to say, that's my daddy. My daddy, he was strong will. He ain't take mess for no one. Except for his grandkids. They had him right around their fingers, so. The only one, but I always admired that, and I was always a daddy's girl, and I just wanted to be just like him. I was like, I don't want to take no mess either, and that's a little girl. I was sassy, gave my grandma a hard time sometimes, and my grandma best would say, you about to stop that, beat the brother out of you. <laughs> yep, and I know I can hear my dad now, looking down, seeing all this love, and he would say, all this love for me, good grief. <laughs> Dad, I love you. Best dad, papa, brother, uncle, ever. And I got mom for you. I'm going to continue to make you proud. Thank you for everything, Dad. All right, good afternoon, everybody. Um, still kind of feel unreal, but um, my uncle BJ, and like the Reverend said, went by different names, Barbara. DJ, but he left out a name. And I remember it used to be on this car with bad boy BJ. <laughs> he was far from a bad person, but when he put on his outfit, his hat, his sunshades, he was shy. Um, he was a very hardworking man. And three things I can tell you that he loved, and that was his family, fried chicken, and keeping them cars clean. You don't go catch them with a dirty car. And um, to my family, I love y'all. To my Aunt Paula, you will love his life. Continue to be the strong woman that you are. And to all of his kids, I want y'all to make sure y'all stay strong for y'all mother. And y'all boys, make sure y'all take care of y'all baby sister, the long old DJ. Coming to y'all. <laughs> um, to my mom, Ach, I'm Gwen, I read me and I know that's your baby brother. But at this time, I just need to come together, be strong for each other, and love on each other. That's all we can do right now. And that's all we do do as a Jones family anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I can 
stay up there and I'm all going to work and give me something. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my uncle was a strong man. I always called him like a quiet storm, right? Because uh, my uncle, like the Reverend said, he always had a smile on his face, but we know if anybody mess with his family, that storm will wake up. Uh, we got stories of his family to tell you how he arrived for his kids and um, anything. he won't take no mess from anybody. And coming from one of his nephews, that he was the only uncle on my mom's side that we had, that was our example. So we, we all from that general side don't take any mess when it comes to our family. Like my, uh, my cousin said, we make sure the cars stay clean, the windows stay tinted, the music stay bumping, you will hear us coming down the street. That's when you walk people was coming. One of the fondest memories I remember is uh, he's always had uh, the kid drive his car down to our grandma's house and the music is blasting. And we all running behind him. They go, Mom, could be Jay. And now we're going to stay. They go, Mom, could be Jay for life, baby. Rest in peace. Come on, let's give all of them a wonderful hand. Thank God. Thank God for you all. Amen. It's difficult enough to speak uh, before this many people if you're not speaking or used to doing it. Uh, and certainly on a day like today, we applaud, amen, this son, this daughter, this family, amen, for showing out in such a great way. Uh, like Reverend Freeman said, obviously he has touched you in some way, some form or fashion. And uh, that's why today we celebrate Amen. BJ. Amen. Come on, let's give it up for BJ. Amen. Thank God. At this time, amen, uh, Deacon Gibbons is going to share his selection, and then we're going to share a brief word. Joy is going to come. Joy is going to come in the morning. Oh, 
that he has passed on to his children. Thank you for the response that they will give in, in knowing Brother William Jones Jr. Thank you, Lord, for how you have kept us and even how even in this moment you brought this family together. God, we know it's not by accident. We believe in the divine providence of God, that you fixed it so, that on October the 1st, 2022, BJ would bring everybody together so that he, they would have the opportunity to tell family and friends and loved ones, I love you and I got you. I'll be there for you. Thank you, Lord and how you even move in darkness. We ask that you give me a word that might soothe someone's situation, that might calm someone's calamity, that might fix somebody's fears, that might allow them to know you're still on the throne, that you're still in charge. This is our prayer. In the name of Jesus the Christ, we pray and we count it done. And all who love the Lord, say amen. amen. Say amen again heard to say it one more time. Come on, give the Lord another hand clap of praise. I'm not going to hold you long, amen. There is a brief word, amen, in the book of Psalms. Psalms 118, 118th Psalm and verse number 23 and 24. Uh, you'll find these words. It says, this is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes, for this is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. I, I want to talk today just for a few moments from the subject, what about today? What about today? We in life uh, have gotten to this place to where we have been uh, made comfortable uh, by the issues and by the blessings of the Lord. Uh, let's be honest, now that we have come a long way, uh, we have come to a place to where we feel like we're on easy street. Uh, I can remember back in the day and how things were not like they are now. And now that we have the amenities that God has blessed us to have, uh, we got flat screens in every room. We riding on 24s, 28s, 32s, amen. Cars cleaner than BJ's, amen somebody. 
Uh, we ride good, looking good, smelling good, eating good, amen, living good. And so we feel like we have arrived. But let me tell you something. Every day brings different challenges. Every day that you wake up in the morning, you never know what that day is going to bring. That day can bring some heartache. Amen. Matter of fact, what about today? Here we are, uh, a burying, saying see you later to a loved one, a friend, a confidant. Amen. Someone who taught us and someone who loved us and someone who raised us and someone uh, who was there for us and someone who taught us how to smile during adversity. And so you got to understand that you never know uh, what the day has for you until you get up and face it on your own. You got to understand that sometimes we determine how our day is going to be by the attitude, that's the word, the attitude we have when we get up out of the bed. Oh, come on now. I know I'm talking to the crowd of sour pusses that sometimes when you wake up in the morning, you say, oh, man, I don't want to get up out of the bed. I just got in. I, my attaboy, I mean, my thing ain't wore off yet. Y'all ain't going to help me. I, I, I don't want to go to work. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And we are at Attitude determines our altitude. Usually, uh, the way you wake up in the morning, whatever attitude you have, uh, is usually how your day is going to go. Do I have any witnesses? If you wake up with a bad attitude, guess what? You're going to have a bad day. I wish I had a real church. But how many know that if you wake up with a good attitude, how many know that even if bad stuff happens, uh, you have the right attitude to know how to deal with it through the day? You know, if you wake up in the morning and you say what this scripture says, this is the day that the Lord hath made and I'm going to rejoice uh, and be glad in it. I don't care if they talking about me. I don't care if they hating on me. I don't care if they fire me. No, you don't want to be fired. But if they do, uh, you ought to walk out with your hands up saying, God, if you took that from me or if you closed that door, that means you got another door you're getting ready to open in my life. How many know that you can deal better with people that's got good attitudes? I, I wish I had a real church. Listen, you can deal better with folk that got a smile on their face. It doesn't matter what they got in their pocket. It matters what they got on their face. So you got to understand that even, even though the fact that we're here, amen, at this place today uh, to say see you later, a lot of you are saying, okay, I hear what the scripture says, that this is the day that the Lord hath made and we need to rejoice and be glad about it. But what about today? Today doesn't seem like a, a day that I should be celebrating. Today doesn't seem like a day that I ought to be lifting up my hands. I ought not be smiling on today. Today, to me, seems like a bad day. But let me tell you something here. This text, amen, this writer of this text, he does not intend for us to look at this as a bad day. What you got to understand is that death is a form of deliverance. How many know that sometimes we pray for God to heal a person, for God to deliver, for God to make a way? And that's what our prayer has been, amen, for the last few years, that God, we want you to do something for, for BJ. We want you to heal brother, brother while he was in the hospital. Lord, we want you to heal him while he was going through. Lord, we want you to make him new, make him fresh. God, we want you to heal him. And how many know God and our See, what you got to understand is that sometimes when God answers your prayer, he does not answer it in the way you think he ought to. How many know we serve a sovereign God? He can do whatever he wants to, whenever he wants to. And even when he answers it, he answers it for the best of everybody that's involved. Let me tell you something. He answered your prayer. He healed it. He just didn't do it on this side. I wish I had a real church. He healed him by taking him to a land flowing with milk and honey. He healed him by taking him home to be with home. Y'all ain't gonna help me. He healed him by taking him to a place where there are no more sicknesses. So you gotta understand that today
today is a good day. Because we celebrate transition. We don't mourn death. We celebrate life. Life not just on this side, but eternal life as we have on the other side. So what about today? I'm glad y'all asked. I've been dying to tell you. Two minutes and I'll let y'all go. First of all, this is a day that we ought to remember. We ought to remember the life of BJ. Remember the good days. Don't worry about the bad stuff. Don't worry about the hell moments. Concentrate on the good days. See, the problem is that we have too many people that are always looking for the bad info. Always looking for uh, the glass, or looking at a glass saying that it's half empty instead of it's half full. Listen, if you are positive in your thinking, how many know it'll change your life? So it is. We are, this is a day that we ought to remember. Remember BJ. Remember uh, the good times. Remember how he uh, taught you how to clean a car. He taught you and showed you how not to take no mess. Y'all ain't got to help me. Let me see. You got to understand that that's a positive attribute to have is that, listen, I'll smile with you as long as you're smiling. But however you want to handle it, we can do it now. Y'all ain't going to help me. So it is. You got to understand that this is a day that the family and the friends ought to remember the life of BJ. But not only is it a day we ought to remember, today we ought to respond. Let me tell you something. The misnomer that we all have is that life is going to last forever. But let me tell you something. Life is short. Y'all ain't going to help me preach. Listen, life is short. If you really think about it, it used to be a time that only a lot of old folk died. But how many know it's more young folk dying now than it is old folk? Amen. Uh, 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 every night we hear something on the news. Every day we're dealing with something that's going on where someone's life is cut off what we determine as too short. And I'm going to let you know life in itself is short. That's why you got to live your life with intention. You got to live your life with purpose. You got to you got to have a plan to say, I'm going to do better than I am right now. That's the response that these children and these, these nieces and nephews and, and all of us need to learn from Brother BJ is that you don't know what day you're going to leave here. But you ought to do something with the days you got left. I wish I had somebody. You, you got to respond in a positive way. If you a hater, stop hating on folk. Let me tell you something. Can I be honest? All of us, uh, the reality is all of us got haters. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Everybody in here got somebody that don't like you. Matter of fact, can I keep it 100? It's somebody in here right now that don't like somebody that's in here right now. You know what? God told me how to, show, how to deal with my haters. He says, use your haters as elevators. God said he'll make your enemy your footstool. I, and you, that's why you ought to look at somebody near you and say, you better watch how you handle me. Because God might use you to let me step on you to get to my next level. So you got to understand that all of us deal with some dilemmas in life. All of us got problems. All, all of us got some stuff that we're going through. All of us have storms. All of us have trouble. Trouble is a reality in all of our existence. Listen, we are either headed into trouble, in the midst of trouble, or just got out of trouble. How many know the thing about trouble is we all go have it, but guess what? Trouble don't last all day. You go in it and then God brings you out of it. And I wish I had somebody here today that would lift up your hand and say, Lord, I thank you that my trouble does not take me out. I learned how to learn. I learned how to live with my trouble. I learned how to deal with my issues. I learned how to deal with folk that don't like me so much. They don't like me. They ain't done nothing for me, no. I wish I had a real trouble. But how I can deal with this. I, I can handle this. This It's hard, but I'm going to be all right. Yeah, yeah, BJ taught us enough to deal with it, and so we ought to respond to it. That means we ought to be better. This ought to teach us how to walk with our head up high. This ought to teach us to keep a smile on our face, even when all hell is breaking loose in our life. Even if you ain't got no go 
soul in your mouth, you ought to still smile. Come on, everybody show you 32s. Somebody show you 22s. Somebody, some of y'all ain't got but eight. Amen. Whatever you got, everybody, you ought to put a smile on your face every now and then. And respond. So, what about today? Today. Today is a day we ought to remember. Today is a day we ought to respond. But then this text says, today is a day we ought to rejoice. Why should I rejoice today? Well, because when you look at the perspective of death, most of us look at it through the wrong eyes. We look at death as final. And that's our human perspective. But when you just look at it from the spiritual perspective, you got to understand that if you know the law, the pardon of your sins, if you've accepted Christ as your personal Savior, you don't just have human. You have something called eternal. I wish I had a witness here. Remember, we spent 28 months out on the parking lot yeah, yeah. having church yeah. during the pandemic. And BJ used to pull up yeah. in the black 300. Yeah. Come on, y'all. He wasn't bumping when he pulled up on the parking lot, but he probably turned it down coming up the street. But it would be clean, just like y'all said. Black out. Couldn't tell who was in it. I had to ask. Who is that driving at 300? He said, you know him? And when I saw him, there he was standing there with the gold. <laughs> Always had a baseball hat, caught 64, the ace dudes, you know what I mean? Always had something positive, amen. By the way, when you saw him, he looked positive. Even though I already knew. He was going through, going through in his body. Had to be going through with his emotions, going through in his mind. Wondering what's gonna happen next. But you gotta understand, he still had enough sense, enough drive, enough wherewithal to pull up on the church parking and give God the glory. Understand, we ought to rejoice because he knew how to do it. You got to understand that if you don't do anything else in life, you ought to give God praise. Every breath you take, it ain't because of you've been so good. Every move you make, it ain't because your mind is so straight. Every dollar in your pocket, it ain't because you work so hard. But how many know that you got favor from the Lord? I wish I had somebody that would look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, favor, it is fair because it comes from the law. That's the grace of God. That's God giving you stuff that you don't deserve. Is there anybody here that's here today not because of what you've done, but you're here because of what God has done? I wish I had somebody in here that would hunt your neighbor and say, neighbor, that's a reason to rejoice. If God woke you up this morning, if God started you on your way, if you made it down the highway, if you had some food and shelter, if you had something to drink, if you got clothes to put on your body, the Bible says, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Do I have any witnesses here? You're gonna high five your neighbor. That's a neighbor. I'm trying to be sad. I'm trying to be sophomoric. But when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, my very soul cries out hallelujah. My hands go to hop. My shoulders go to rocket. Anybody here got something to rejoice for? Yeah. So the question.
today is a good day to give God glory, to rejoice in the fact that William Jones Jr. has finished his course. He kept the faith. Bible says, henceforth, there is laid up for him a crown of righteousness. Not to him only, but to all of them who love his appearing or who love God. Amen. So now, if you want to put it in layman's terms, and I'm finished. He's now got a gold crown to go with the gold. <laughs> Amen. And I just suspect that it's not sitting up there pretty. He got a cop. Amen. Come on. Do I have any witnesses? Anybody? It's cocked a little bit to the side. And we thank God for this kind of life. Amen. You know, a lot of us, we go through life and all we do is fake and front. And put on airs and try to be somebody we're not. I thank God when I meet real folk. Come across real people who can look you in the face and say, It is what it is, I am who I am. Amen. But they are who they are, and they've got God on their side. Amen. That's that's the life we ought to be striving for. That that's that's who he was. Amen. Real. Real. That's why I told you at the beginning, and I'll tell you now. Everything is gonna be alright. Do remember how he was. Respond to what he told you to, and rejoice in the Lord. Everything will be alright. Every head bowed. Father in heaven, again we thank you. For your goodness, for your mercy, for your love. We thank you, God, for this life that you loaned, this world and this family, 60 years. Thank you, God. Because we know you do all things well. You're too wise to make any mistakes, too just to be unkind. And so we thank you today for the life of William W. Jones Jr. Lord, we call him many things, but we know you call him son. And we thank you for you adopting him into the royal family. We ask God that you bless him in such a way he's able to rest on in your bosom. Touch his family, his children, his siblings, nieces, nephews, cousins, everybody that's connected, touch them. And allow them to know that every day you give them is a day to live on purpose with intentionality. And during that day, to always give you praise, give you glory, give you the credit for everything that comes in their life. This is our prayer. This is our plea. It's in the marvelous and majestic name of our master that we pray and we count it done. And all who love the Lord, say amen. amen. Say amen again. Amen. Wouldn't it hurt to say it one more time? Amen. amen. The morticians may come, but we're going to listen to a final tribute.
Amen. If you're driving on the fuel of this session, we ask that you fasten your safety belts, and turn on your headlights and your flashers as we travel safely to this final resting place. Amen. We will arrive safely and back the same way. May God bless you. Just one of